Hello, my name is Vincent Costanza. I'm currently the executive director for the Race to the Top Early Learning Challenge in New Jersey. Whenever I have the opportunity to interview someone for a position, I'm always interested in why does this person want this position at this time? I think the same whole question holds for potential NAEYC board candidates. Why do you want this? For me, there are two reasons. First, our field is currently cluttered with reform initiatives and practitioners in both birth to five and six to eight spaces are suffering from initiative fatigue. This reform context is cluttered with many potentially beneficial uh, initiatives that are designed to improve the lives of children, however, risk being ineffective simply because of the sheer clutter of initiatives. For instance, in the birth to five space, practitioners are implementing QRIS, continuing education, conducting home visits, implementing new standards, all while earning less than a worthy wage. Teachers in six to eight space are doing teacher evaluation, common core standards, entry assessments, all without a clear sense of how these initiatives tie together to improve the lives of children. This lack of, this lack of coherence is problematic. And NAEYC ought to be the organization that carves out a path that leads to coherence. Second, it's not just practitioners who get fatigued by disjointed initiatives. Given the multitude of reform initiatives on the state and national levels, the way that leaders guide implementation will shape the academic careers of a generation of children, my eight-year-old daughter, Sophia included. I love her and want nothing but the best for her, but if these initiatives do not make sense to her teachers, they'll never help her to get where she needs to go, or and they'll never help other people's children either. At this moment in time, strong leadership is not just important to academic achievement, but to child well-being. Helping position NAEYC as the organization that brings coherence and reason from infant and toddler programs all the way to third grade classrooms is why I am running for the governing board. Thank you for your work in helping to shape this field, and thank you for your support.